this is my body cam oh. footage as uh, myself and Lieutenant Ball uh, approach the apartment number 175 the first time on the 26th. Okay. Her car's out there too. In the back, it's blue. Blue Subaru. Hi, you Lori. Lori, I'm Lieutenant Ball of the Police Department. How are you? You got a minute? You alone, or is that help? Or? Uh, my brother's here. Okay. This is Detective Stubbs. Hello. Sweet So, we're here. Wow, this is a big mess. I just talked to the guy on the phone. And what did he ask you? He was just saying that he wanted to do a well check on JJ. So, JJ would be where? He's in Arizona. Who's he with in Arizona? He's with one of my friends in Arizona. Oh. Hi. Oh, hey. you got a notepad? No. Want me to get one? Uh, Please. no, no. Come here. It's, you mind if he comes in? No, come on in. So, Thank you. Sorry. Who's That's the friend he's with? My friend Melanie. Her Melanie. son has autism. Her name is Melanie Gibbs. I gave him all the information on the phone. Okay, so he can call? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Discord. Yeah. What is all this? We're, we're a little what concerned. Because, well, the officers who were here earlier yeah. were checking, and they got a bad vibe that, like, something was going on here because uh, nobody knew anything about a child. They weren't talking. It's because a What's lot of stuff on? has gone on. If you want to know, it's a lot of stuff. So, well, that's why we're concerned because very, it just was kind of weird. It is very weird. I've had to move around a lot. One of my brothers is trying to kill me, not the brother that lives here, obviously. He's kind of my protector. <laughs> my other brother was in with my husband who was trying to kill me for my $2 million life insurance policy. You know well, what? Well, no. <laughs> so a lot of stuff has gone on in this last year. It's been a horrible year for us. I've had to move around. And so I was going to move back to Arizona put my son back in the school there because I tried to put him in school here, public school at Kennedy. Okay. He went for two months. We tried it, but he had such a hard time. Now, the person who called is my sister-in-law, but she's his natural grandmother. He's adopted by us. Okay, so her son, who is a drug addict, okay. had a baby with a girl who's a drug addict, and they took him from, you know, CPS took him. Okay gave him to the grandmother, she came and got him, and then she wanted us to adopt him, which we did. And we loved By him. And us, him. We My about? husband and I, who died earlier this year. Okay. He passed away. Since he Sorry passed away, it. she's been trying to fight me for him and being really horrible to me and that kind of stuff. The She's kind of the paternal friend. Okay, thank Does you. That makes sense? That's I'm what sorry. I mean. The paternal grandmother. Yeah, he has autism and ADHD. He has. He doesn't really talk to people. Like he's he's very special needs. So I had him in a special needs school there. She was trying to. So what happened was, my husband, who we were married for 15 years and had raised all these five kids together, switched his life insurance policy to her. Right? To, <laughs> to his sister, okay. who got a million dollars when he died, and we got nothing for me to raise JJ, and all the kids got nothing, and everybody got nothing. She got a million dollars. So I knew she was going to try to sue me for him or. For JJ? Yeah, because she now has this million dollars, so she can hire people to help him, and I have nothing. My but you have nothing, legal but custody. He's my son. I adopted him right. when he was two years We had him from the time he was eight months old until two years old. So she does nothing that wants to cause me trouble. So I don't tell people the truth about where we are and what we're doing because of those reasons. So I look like a suspect, but I am not, 
a good person, raised all of my kids, I've done everything that I'm supposed to do in life, but everyone is causing me trouble right now. So. We don't want to cause a lot of trouble. How long have you been here? We've only been here since September. Okay. We moved up here in September. My daughter to go to BYUI. Her Your mom, daughter goes to BYUI? Yeah. Does she live here? Mm-hmm. So yeah. we just, it's been a nightmare, but I'm going to go back to Arizona so I can put him back in the special needs school. He couldn't do the school here. It was too hard for him. He would scream and cry, take him to school. The principal would have to come out, try to drag him out of the car. Like, mm -hmm. it's just, it's too hard. But I just don't tell people where I am. I don't tell her where I am ever. Okay. And she doesn't have any legal rights to anything. Like, she's been horrible to me since my husband died. My understanding, she never called to, to try to get the child, you know, hey, I'm interested in the child back, you know, but that. I know, but she sends me these emails with, like, the dates and, like, like she's putting up court stuff, you know, like, just documenting. I haven't heard from him in all this time. And so I've told her that he's fine. But she, See, and we hadn't heard any of that as far as. I'm just saying she's doing this as part of that, yeah. is my understanding. And our only concern in this whole thing yeah, is, that is, the, fine. is the child. I got it. And, and so that's that's where we're at on the. Uh, so. And then so we I were just a little her. weirded out when. You know, and, and I understand now that we've heard your side of the story. It's awful. They just the, feel like I'm being trapped all the time. I'm like, why are police coming to my well, door? What's the idea? They said they were out visiting with two guys, and I'm assuming was, one's your brother. Who was visiting? Yeah. Who was the other one? The other guy they were visiting with. There were two. Visiting? Well, we had two detectives over here trying to. Looking for you uh, a little while ago. Oh, because I was at the store. And they ran into. Probably one of your brothers. In My the back brother here. and his friend, probably. Oh, who's been that? Moving. Chad. Chad from around here? Mm -hmm. What's his last name? <laughs> Bill. Okay. All right. So, uh, it's just a mess. It's constantly causing me trouble. Chad to Chad to D A Y B E L O? Mm -hmm. He's an author. Doesn't he live like out in the. Isn't that the Chanty Bell that, uh, did his wife pass away recently? Is that him? I, I don't know. I bet it is. Chanty, D-A-Y-B-E-L-L. But it sounds familiar as an author. I think I, know, I think I know one of his, has he got a couple of daughters? Is that no, he has lots of kids. Okay. I'll bet it's safe. All right. Well, do you need anything else? Sorry to bother you. Thank you. We don't mean to be a problem. I'm sorry that people are constantly knocking at my door. At my door, looking for me, and I just don't want to be found, so. Have you had problems? Because I think we've only had. My bro well, the reason I'm moving is because the brother that was going to kill me, that we found emails and texts with my ex-husband my husband at the time, came showing up here, so he found out where I was, and he was knocking on my door. No, this was your brother? One of my you showed up here and was knocking on your mm -hmm. door. He lives in Kansas. And you said something about you were getting threatening emails? Well, the, no. Just after my husband passed, I found emails and texts between them that they were planning all this stuff to get rid of me. Do we need to worry about him coming over? Well, that's why I'm moving back. I'm oh. moving, and I'm not going to be in a place. I'm going to live with my friend, Melanie. Don't tell anybody her name, Gib. Because I don't want anything in my name. I put the apartment in my name, but I've been staying over here with my brother because he protects me. Okay. He's very protective I just want of me. If so. he shows back up, you know, you can call. Come and take care of it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, like, it's just a nightmare. I mean, I canceled the insurance policy since my husband passed, so there's no money if they kill me. <laughs> and what are they going to do with JJ and Patty? Like, what do people think? Okay. So. Well, <laughs> if you. Have a problem, so back up, feel free to call us. Okay. We'll come and run him off or something. Okay? Yeah, All right. Okay, we'll get out of here. Safe okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. <clears throat> uh -uh. Not. Not.
Detective Stubbs, did you return to that same apartment that day? Yes. Uh, when uh, Detective Hermosillo and Detective Hope could not contact uh, Melanie Gibb a few minutes later from this encounter, uh, we went back to her door uh, to inquire about how we could get a hold of Melanie Gibb. And is that what is on the second uh, film file here? That is Video correct. File? want us to ask Lori if she would Melanie is the friend. Wasn't Melanie the one living up here? Supposed to be that her daughter, Lori's daughter? No, this was the friend that she's going back down to live with, she said. Right. She's got a daughter named Melanie. I thought. Let's just see if she will call and have Melanie get a hold of Hope and just do a verification. Because she, apparently she's not answering the phone down there. Could you get a hold of her at some point and say, can you please call back the officer that's been trying to call you? Okay, sure. Yeah, because I think they are at the movies right now. Okay. okay. That, that, he's been trying to call her or other officer. She's not answering. Okay. But if they're at the movie, that's... Probably at Frozen 2 right now. Yeah. Because that's the one thing he wanted to do. I'm Frozen 2. <laughs> yeah. I'm Frozen 2. I'm so yeah. here. So. I don't know if I can handle a whole winter here. That's probably why. Yeah. So if she'll just return his call, that'd be great. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yes, sir. 